Hello, hello YouTube! It's Cleofe again and today I'm so excited to share with you my latest tutorial. It's a cardigan! I've been receiving requests to make a tutorial for a cardigan and I myself wanted to make one and I'm so happy with how this one turned out. This is classic cardigan. You can wear every year. You can make one every year. You can make one for your daughter, your mom, your grandma. This cardigan is for every woman. And again, the crochet pattern is so simple and easy to follow with only one pattern repeat. This is made up of two panels of exactly the same pattern and sew them together here in the back. And then I make sure that every step of the way is captured in the video so that you don't miss a step and you can follow along and make your own cardigan. This cardigan fits small size. I'm just going to quickly show you the dimensions. So from side to side, it's about 20 inches. Shoulder to bottom, it's about 26 inches. Armhole is about 7 inches. And the sleeves is about 16 inches. Now let's get started! For the materials, I'm using 5 skeins of Simply Soft yarn in Blackberry Muir color. I also use size H 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, blunt needle markers, and tape measure. Let's start with a knot and chain 43. This is now 43 chains. Row 1. Seven, on the 7th chain from hook, we're going to do a shell. So 7th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th chain. On this chain, we're going to do a shell. So shell is 4 double crochets. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, chain 1, and another double crochet in the same stitch. And we just did our shell. Skip 3 stitches. So skip 1, 2, 3, and on the next stitch, 2 double crochets. So 1, and 2 in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Skip three stitches again. One, two, three. And shell in the next stitch. So four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one. And another double crochet in the same stitch. We just did our second shell. Repeat the pattern, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and two double crochets in the next stitch, one, two, in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Skip three stitches and shell again in the next stitch. So four double crochets, one, two, three, four, chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch. Skip three stitches and two double crochets in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did my last shell. So at this point, I have five shells. Now to end this row, there are four stitches left. Skip three stitches and double crochet in the last stitch. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two. From here, chain three. One, two, three. 
turn. And on the next chain one space right here, we're going to do our shell. So four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one. And another double crochet in the same chain one space. Skip the four double crochets, skip this one, and go to the two double crochets here. And in between these two double crochets in this space, two double crochets in between the two double crochets here. So one and two. Repeat the pattern on the next chain one space, shell again. So four double crochets. Three, four, chain one, another double crochet in the same chain one space. Skip the four double crochets and go to the two double crochets here and two double crochets in between the two, post, two posts. So two double crochets. This is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, shell in the next chain one space. So four double crochets, two, three, four, chain one, another double crochet in the same chain one space to do our shell. Skip the four double crochets and two double crochets in between the two posts. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did my last shell, my fifth shell. Now to end this row, skip the four double crochets and on top of the turning chain right here, double crochet on that stitch to end this row. So this is how to end row two and this is what row two looks like. So rows, 3 to 32, just repeat row 2. I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I have 32 inches of my piece to show you the next step. And this is now what my piece looks like after 32 rows. And at this point, the piece measures about 17 by 9 inches. So if you want to make your cardigan longer, just add more additional rows. What I'm going to do next for row 33 is extend the row from here, extend it to the left for the sleeves. So from here, I'm going to chain 43. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. So chain 43, like this. Then I'm going to turn the piece like this and start my row 33. So row 33, just repeat row 1, which is shell in 7th chain. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th chain. Shell in this stitch, so four double crochets. Two, three, four. Chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch to finish our shell. Skip three stitches, one, two, three. Two double crochets in the next stitch. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and shell again in the next stitch. So four double crochets, two, three, 
four, chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch, skip three stitches, two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two. Repeat the pattern, skip three stitches, one, two, three, shell in the next stitch, four double crochets, two, three, four, chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and two double crochets in the next stitch. This is what it looks like so far. Continue, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and shell again in the next stitch. So three, four, chain one, another double crochet in the same stitch. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and two double crochets in the next stitch. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and shell in the next stitch. So four double crochets, three, four, chain one, and another double crochet in the same stitch. Now at this point, there are four stitches left before we hit the main body. So skip three stitches, One, two, three, and on the next stitch, on this stitch here, two double crochets. Two. And then from here, on the next chain one space, just repeat row, uh, row two. So on the next chain one space, shell. So four double crochets on the chain one space, chain one, another double crochet in the chain one space to do our shell. Skip the four double crochets and two double crochets in between the two posts, two double crochet posts. Repeat a row two pattern. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I, did, I just did the last shell. To end this row, skip the four double crochets and double crochet on top of the turning chain like this. So this is how to end row 33 and this is what row 33 looks like. The row is, is extended for the sleeves. Rows 34 to 59, just repeat row 2. Again, if you want to extend um, the sleeves longer, just add a multiple of 8 chains to increase your uh, length for your sleeves. So I'm going to cut off the video. I'll be continuing my work. And I'll be back when I'm done with row 59 to show you the next step. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 59. So from the bottom to where the row before the ex it, it was extended is about 17 inches. And all the way to the top up to row 59, it's about 31 inches. If you want to increase the length, just add more rows. Row 60. Row 60, just repeat row 2. Now and then I'm going to decrease the row back to its original width. So this is the original width of the row with five shells. So I'm going to decrease row 60 back to five shells. So I'm going to count five shells 
And then the two double crochets here after the five shells, I'm going to put a marker because that's where I'm going to end my row. And then from here, I'm just going to do a repeat of row two. Chain three, turn, shell in the first chain one space, in the next chain one space right here. So four double crochets in the chain one space. Chain one and then another double crochet to do our shell. And then two double crochets in between these two posts. So repeat this pattern all up to the marker here. So I'm going to cut off the video. I'll be back when I'm up to the marker. So I'm here now. I'm done. I just did my last my fifth shell and to end this row just skip the four double crochets and then on the stitch where the marker is i'm just going to do a double crochet on that stitch to end row 60. so this is how to end row 60 decreased and this is what row 60 looks like it's decreased to its original width Rows 61 to 91, repeat row 2. So this row is now back to its original width. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 91. This is now what my piece looks like after row 91. So if you look at it um, vertically, it would look like this. This is for the sleeves, the extended row and then back to its original width. And this is what it looks like if you look at horizontally, like a letter T. Now for the dimensions, let me just show you. This is about nine inches for the width, and with the sleeves, it's about 18 and a half inches. And the sleeves is about 14 inches. So I'm going to set this panel aside and I'm going to do another panel of exactly the same pattern. And these are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern. So this crochet pattern has the same side, so the back and the front looks exactly the same. So there is no wrong side or right side because they are exactly the same. So lay your pa uh, panels like this and make sure that the direction of the pattern is uh, going the same direction for both panels. So like this one, the shell is going in the upwards direction for both panels. So what I'm going to do next is um, fold each panel halfway like this. Same of the other panel. And now it would look like this. I'm going to take my marker. And then on the top edge right here on both panels, I'm going to put the marker on both sides like this. And then on the back side, open the panel like this. These two sides here on the back, I'm going to attach together. Sew them together using whip stitch all the way down to the bottom. And on this side here on the sleeves, and the side from here all the way up, right here in the armpit and all the way to the sleeves, I'm going to attach them together also using whip stitch, the same on this side. So all the way down to the bottom. And this is now what the piece looks like after it's 
as sides were attached together using whip stitch. So here, the side, and then the back, it's also stitched together using whip stitch. Now for the finishing touches, I'm going to crochet a um, hip band at the bottom. So from here, I'm going to do a hip band and a band around the opening of the cardigan. And I'm also going to finish some finishing touches on the sleeves. So here, hip band at the bottom. And then finishing touches on the sleeves also. So I'm going to start with the sleeves. This is the armhole for the sleeves. So at this point, I didn't flip the cardigan yet, right side out. It's still the same. So using the tail, I'm just going to start here. So yarn over, pull through, chain two. And then on the space, two double crochets. Two. And then on the next space right here, two double crochets again. So just two double crochets in each space around. So next space, two double crochets again. And then I'm just going to attach a fresh yarn and continue with my pattern. So two double crochets in the next phase. So repeat this pattern around. I'm be cutting off my, my video and I'll be back when I'm towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'll just uh, finish up with two double crochets in the last space here. Now to join the round, just slip stitch on the first, on top of the turn of the uh, first two chains right here. So slip stitch to join the round. And this is round one for the sleeves. This is about 53 double crochets. So for the next round, we're going to decrease the round. So chain two, double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Now decrease the row by doing DC2 tog stitch. To do that, we're going to yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we just did our DC to tog stitch, decreasing our round. Repeat the pattern, double crochet in the next two stitches, and then DC to tog again in the next two stitches. So insert, pull through, yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. DC two, tog again. Double crochet in the next two stitches. This is what it looks like. Then DC two, tog again in the next two. Then double crochet in the next two stitches. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. I just did a DC2 tog, so double crochet in the next two stitches. And then one last DC2 tog stitch here. Now to um Join the round, just slip stitch on this first stitch right here. So this is how to end round two, and this is what row, round two looks like. Now it's decreased. Round three, chain two, double crochet in the next two stitches. Two, 
two, DC two tog in the next two stitches. So for this round, we're going to decrease more. Double crochet in the next two stitches. This is what it looks like. And then DC two tog again. So basically just a repeat of round two. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I just did my DC2 tog. Now there are three stitches left, so I'm just going to double crochet on the last three stitches. So one, two, three. Then to join the round, just slip stitch on the first stitch right here. So this is how to end round three, and this is what round three looks like. Now it's even more decreased. Round four, chain two, double crochet in the next stitch, and double crochet in each stitch around. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. Just continue with the pattern of double crochet in each stitch around. And to join this round, just slip stitch on this stitch right here. So this is how to end round four, and this is what round four looks like. Rounds five and six, just repeat round four. Round seven, chain two. On the next post right here, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook on the post through the front, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We just did our front post double crochet. Next is double uh, back post double crochet, insert the hook through the back like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat the pattern, front post double crochet in the next post, insert through the front and do a double crochet, and back post double crochet in the next stitch. So just alternate front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So repeat this pattern around, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. I just did a back post. Now I'm going to do a front post double crochet. And last stitch, a back post double crochet. Now to end this round or to join this round, this first chain two right here, just insert in that space here and do a slip stitch. So insert on the chain two space and slip stitch. This is how to end round seven or join round seven, and this is what round seven looks like. Round eight, chain two. So from here, chain two. And on the next post, this one, this is the front post double crochet. We're going to do a front post double crochet on this stitch. So front post, now the next stitch is back post. We're going to do a back post double crochet on that stitch. Just repeat the pattern, front post double crochet, back post double crochet alternating. So front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. I just did my front post. Now I'm going to do my back post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, and then one last back post, double crochet right here. Now to join this round 
on the first chain two right here on the space insert the hook on that space and just slip stitch to join the round so this is how to end round eight and this is what round eight looks like rounds 9 to 15 just repeat round 8 or if you want a longer band you can continue with go beyond round 15 and this is now what my sleeves look like so repeat do the same step with the other sleeves and this is my other sleeve what the other sleeves looks like Next, I'm going to work on the hip band and the band around the neck of the cardigan opening. So this is the bottom edge of the piece. I'm going to work on the hip band and I'm going to use this tail here. So I'm just going to insert on this corner stitch right here. Yarn over on the tail, pull through and then chain two and I'm going to attach a fresh yarn then continue on the next space three double crochets one two and three then on the next space again three double crochets so right here, three double crochets in this space, two, three, and repeat the pattern. So this will be the pattern, three double crochets in each space, three. So this is what it looks like. And continue this pattern up to here, where we join the two edges. So this is now what it looks like. Three double crochets in each space up to here. Now, as we continue, it's a different pattern because this is what we're, where we attach the pieces together. So, here I'm just going to do a double crochet in each stitch starting here. So, double crochet here. So, one, two, three. Four, and then double crochet in the chain one space right here then double crochet in each stitch again so this stitch so double crochet in each stitch until you reach the chain one space again up to here then double crochet on the chain one space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So this is now what the row looks like at the back of the cardigan. Now it's on the other side, the other front side. So just the same pattern, three double crochets in each space again. So this space, three double crochets. Then on the next space, three double crochets all the way to the end of the row. So I'm here now at the end of the row. So to end this row, just double crochet on the last stitch here. And this is what row one of the hip band looks like. Row two of the hip band. So from here, chain two, turn. Then on the next double crochet here, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So on the next post, front post double crochet then back post double crochet in the next double DC 
then front post, repeat the pattern, then back post, double crochet. So just alternate front post, double crochet, and back post, double crochet. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did a front post double crochet. So to continue, next is back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, And then to end this row, just double crochet on the last stitch right here. So this is how to end row two of hip band. And this is what row two of hip band looks like. Row three of hip band. So chain two, turn. And on the next stitch, the front post double crochet here on this stitch, we're going to front post double crochet on this post. Then back post double crochet on the next post, next BPDC. And then alternate, repeat the pattern, front post double crochet, back post double crochet so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row so i'm here now towards the end of the row i just did my back post double crochet now to continue front post back post double crochet again front post double crochet back post double crochet and then to end this row just double crochet on top of the turning chain right here so this is how to end row three of hip band and this is what row three of hip band looks like so rows four to six Repeat row three of hip band. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done uh, with row six of the hip band to show you the next step. And this is now what the piece looks like after crocheting the hip band here at the bottom. So this is what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do next is crochet a band around the neck around the cardigan opening and I'm just going to continue with the yarn with this yarn from the last stitch of the hip band so I'm going to start here so continue here start here and then go all the way up here with a band with a row and then around the neck and then down to the other side here to the bottom here so from the last stitch of the hip band, turn the piece this way because so we're going to crochet on this side here. So take out the marker and then from the last stitch, just continue from the last stitch. So here, this is where we're going to crochet our um, row. So from here, chain two, then evenly crochet nine double crochets on this side of the hip band. So here in the next stitch, start with one, two, three, I'm gonna do here in this stitch, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, and nine. So including the chain two, there are 10 double crochets to start the row. Then continue on to the um, next stitch here. I'm going to start with double crochet here. And then on the next space right here, two double crochets. And then on the next space, two double crochets again. So repeat this pattern, two double crochets in each space. So this next space is here, two double crochets, then two double crochets in the next space again. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm about to crochet the opposite side of the hip band. So here, equally crochet 10 double crochets on this side right here. So starting here in this stitch, so one double crochet. I'm going to do here the next one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the last stitch will be on the top of the turning chain right here. So equal. 10 double crochets in this side of the hip band. So this is how to end row one of the cardigan opening and this is what it looks like. And this is the center here. This is where we attach the two pieces together at the center. So continue with rows two to four and just follow the um, pattern of rows two to four of hip band which is front post double crochet, back post double crochet, alternating uh, across the row. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row four of the band. And this is now what the piece looks like after crocheting the band around the cardigan opening. And we're done. So clean up the tails, weave the ends, flip right side out, and we're done. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video, and please subscribe.